you know, in 10 years we can have another 66 members to our four, four bands. So when you think about it, you know, we've grown so fast. How will we accommodate all the six to six children that we're looking at in the future? So, one, for instance, is education. We have to educate ourselves. Then we have the facilities to do that here at Ermanskin School, Samson, Montana, Louisville, and surrounding communities. You know, with an education, you can be anything you want to be. There's no limit. If you want to be a spacewalker, you'll be a spacewalker, an astronaut. If you want to be a doctor, you can be a medical doctor. You can be a lawyer. You can be anything you want. Right now, how many of you paid a grocery bill at home? How many of you paid a utilities at home? How many of you buy vehicles. How many of you pay for gas when you go to Itaskun or Panoka or any grocery store to get groceries? None of you do that. Your parents do that. So your job at home is to help your parents know about your ways and when you come to school here you come to school to learn. That's what's important. <coughs> and the more you learn, the better it's going to be for you. You know, those teachers that you have, some of them are our people, some of them are non-native people. I always say that one day, all of Ermanskin, not only Ermanskin, but Samson, Louisville, Montana, we will replace those non-natives. We can teach our own children. You know, if we say that this school belongs to us, well, let's make it so. Let's start Let's start getting educated, coming back here and teach our children. See, there are more children coming, I just mentioned. More children coming. They're not here yet, but they will be here, I can guarantee you that. So those children that are coming are going to be your children. Your grandchildren. So think about it. You know, so you have to prepare yourself. Prepare yourself the best possible way you can to be able to raise those children that are coming. To be able to accommodate all the necessities of life. And you can provide that. Educate yourself in every way. You know, this land that we call Canada, it belonged to us once, but we don't own it anymore. Even the government dictates everything to us. He dictates us to get up seven o'clock every morning. That's the rule of the government. And we have to be in school by nine o'clock. That's the rule of the government. So everything that happens, we're under the watchful eye of the government. So when you really think about it, we are not free. One time we owned this land, but we don't, we don't own it anymore. This is a white man's world, and we have to compete with the white man. We have to be just as good, maybe twice as good 
for them to accept us. And that's how life is today. I saw that as a little boy. I was your age. Not long ago I was your age. So and today, you know what I have to do today? Every night when I go to bed, I have to take my ears off, take my eyes off, take my teeth off and put them in a little jar. And when I get up in the morning, I have to fumble for them, looking for them. See, I went through that. Today I see that. So today, we want to help you. It is your future. We are, we've done our work. We've paved the road for you. Now it's up to you to do exactly what our forefathers had intended for you kids to do. They did that for us, George and I, all of us here. And we did our share. We can't do no more. The only thing we can do <coughs> is tell you to encourage you to be able to get up and do what needs to be required. You know, I always say, the most important thing is the most important thing that we have to do. So, you know, give yourself a, a little pat on the back. You're, you're in grade seven already. Can you believe it? You're in grade seven. You have five more years to be in this school, then you'll finish grade 12, then you're ready to go to the big world of higher education. There you can be a lawyer, a doctor. I don't know if you want to be an Indian chief, but uh, you know, you can be one too, if you want. So that's the thing, you know, you can have ownership. You can own a lot of different things that you cherish for. Beautiful things, you can have a nice house. But this reserve, this reservation that we call the four bands, it's going to be too small for us. So that's something you have to think of. You may have to move, to move on to move to Edmonton or Calgary or Tuscan or Pinoca. But this will be your homeland. I guarantee you that Muscogee is not going to move while you're gone. It's always going to be here. 